Yes, good morning. Here we have um, USD, USD JPY on the screen. And um, the USD JPY has been very bullish since, um, since March as we can as we continue to see price finding higher highs despite the fact that um, the momentum has not been very uniform as we continue to see a higher high that does not share that does not have a retracement that um, aligns with the impulse leg as most times the retracement on this pair has been very very short for instance, if we look at this first impulse leg here, we notice that we had a short retracement before another bullish momentum happened. And if we take our Fibonacci retracement tool here, we have um, around, um, let's say, 32% retracement before price action move to the upside on the daily time frame so on the daily time frame, we really don't have any structure to work around with as um, we we continue to see a consolidation phase around this around this area around this area here that um, around this area that's giving us um, a, a, a an indecision phase in the market where we don't know what's going to happen next is it going to be um, a downtrend, probably a retracement before the uptrend continuation goes, or probably price will continue from this level, from this level to the to the upside. So in this regard, we need to make a decision on this one. So how do we do that? If we still go down to a much lower time frame, let's say the four hours time frame, things become more clearer at this point in time. So on the on the four hours time frame we can easily find a trend line that we can draw and if we pull out our line chart we can ha we have something like this as um, the trend line continue to be to be respected since um, the beginning of March as we continue to see price finding um, higher, higher highs in this regard, as you can see. Then, if we remember what happened during the course of last week trade, we took a trade on this pair. We took a buy opportunity on this pair, but um, later the um, the trade closed at break even point. And at this point, what I'm seeing on the four hours time frame, I am taking into consideration the fact that we could be having a bullish momentum in the nearest future. And why have I said that? First of all, if you pull out our line chart here, we'll notice that um, we have um, a consolidation phase happening around this area. Sorry, let me use this. So we have a consolidation phase around this area. A consolidation phase around this area where where market has been finding a way to push up but we had a sudden breakdown of that channel um, earlier today as we can see what happened here and probably a retracement into this level could send price crashing down to the downside however we cannot jump into such conclusion yet because of long-term scenario we are having on the USD JPY where the, the dollar has been very very strong against the yen in the last um, couple of months so in this regard we need to scale down to a much lower time frame to actually see what is really really happening at this juncture in the market so spooling down to a much lower time frame like on the one hour time frame we now have, you will notice that we have another bullish trend line at this point here. Yeah. Let me let me give this a blue color to make it different from the main trend line we, not, we identified. And with this trend line here, we saw that price continue to reject this trend line since the middle of April. That's last week thereabout. We saw rejection close to the trend line here. We saw another rejection 
happened on the 22nd of this month and now price is right back in this trend line and we might be looking for looking forward to an opportunity that price will move to the upside so with this being said it is pertinent that um, we we consider this area a very strong demand zone considering the multiple rejection we found at this juncture in the market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this. this our demand is always green. And um, let me label this a demand zone. So that's inside, yes, OK? I think that's that. That's good. So with this structure, with this demand zone identified around this area, we want to look for a key level where that will guide our price, our guide our our position for a, a, a bullish, either a bullish or a bearish momentum. So in this regard, I have first of all we notice around this area we've been having um, we had a support area. Uh, on the 19th of April around here, we had a rejection which was not a resistance here, which was not strong to push price down. And at that same area too, we had a support area at this point, which pushed price up. And um, on the 22nd of April, that's on Friday, we also had a support around that area, which pushed price to the upside. And right now we are right back at that same area so this is you agree with that this is going to be a very significant level to look out for going into the new week so in this regard i'm going to be placing our key levels around let me say 120.1 approximately so that um, we have a, a psychological level that we can work with so our key level is always in gold let me give this a gold color and um give me a moment please so we go then there is let's label this 128 level the so key level at 128 so let's give it gold let me get this here and then let's put it at the top left hand side so we don't have it disturbing how i view so what happens here is this this is our bullish trend line that we identified on the daily time frame, the green one here. And um, this is a bullish trend line we identified on the one hour time frame. And if you notice, this bullish trend line on the one hour time frame and the bullish trend line on the daily time frame shares a confluence at this point. And this point also is also the key level, which makes this area a very, very significant soon. Um, the next in this in the new week significant zone for either a buy or sell opportunity sell opportunity buy sell opportunity let's put it like this uh -huh. let me make it like this so let me let's push this down a little bit so so what does this mean what does this mean this means that a breakdown of this area of this key level, a retest, a significant breakout, a retest will give us a confirmation for a downtrend continuation where we'll be looking for price to break below that demand level to add more position to the downside. However, at this point, and considering the fact that we've been on a long term bullish momentum on this pair and the strength of the dollar against the US, against the JPY has been consistently very, very strong in the past. Prior to the war, the Russia-Ukraine war, I'm, I'm of the opinion that we might still be sitting on this 128 area um, during this week. So in this regard, I have placed three pending orders already. I placed one at 128.184 and 128.276, and at the same time, one at um, 128.341, where I'm looking for um, um, price to strike through this area into the upside. So in this regard, we have a position size that look position meter that looks like this, and um, we have a stop loss around this area, right just below around this area, with around 40 pips thereabout. Then 
what we will have, what will be our, our um, what's it called? Our take profit target. Then if we're looking at our take profit, we'll look at the last impulse leg on this one. So if we are going to look at a Fibonacci extension of this impulse leg, we are going to find ourselves. So spooling out our Fibonacci extension tool, we will be having something like this. Um, okay, that's our impulse leg here. Yeah, then we'll be looking at a take profit target of around one at one twenty seven point two percent. Um, so let's just look at one twenty one thirty point two hundred. I think that's enough for us to play around with. And as price action moves to the upside, we might be looking to add position depending on how structure plays out. If we continue to find them um, higher highs and higher lows, then we we might be looking to add more position to the upside. But at the moment, we have I have three pending orders running, uh, three pending orders set, and I think the first one has been triggered. And um, at any point in time, we should always remember that um, this key level at one twenty eight area shall be our guide going going into the new week. A breakout, a break. We already are, we already are above that key level, and a breakdown of that key level, a retest could be a confirmation that price might no longer find the strength to move to the upside. So in this regard, I would like to pause this video at this juncture on the market, and um, let's see how price action reacts. Uh, mind you, I will I will be giving an update on this trade as price action is being monitored on my on the comment section below in my trading view account. Thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day. Cheers.